Hi and hello guys, I am KD. Today in this video we are going to see how to move our character using keyboard input and we are using Bolt for programming. If you want to know how to import Bolt into Unity, go and check my previous video. I added in iCard. I am using the graphics from my project Vice. If you want to see the devlog, I added in the description and also in the iCard. Ok guys, without wasting any more time, go to the video. This is our scripting area. Before create one, you have to create the new layer for the platform object by selecting add layer and type name of you want. Assign by simply selecting the game object and select the layer you want to assign. I have player object with flow machine. For that simply select the game object and click add component type flow. It will show the flow graph. First we have to move the player depends on the key press. For that we have to create a fixed update node by simply clicking right mouse key and type fixed update and select fixed update. This is nothing but the normal update calls frames depends on the system performance. The frame rate is higher in high end PC and lower in lower end PCs which is also affect the player movement depends on the system. But we don't want that. The fixed update calls only calls fixed frames per second that is 50 frames per second it is independent of system after that we have to find the user is pressing the a key create a node and type get key give the name as a because we have to move the player if a key is pressed unity has its input management system to know the key name go to edit project settings axis in that you can see both keys for horizontal movement A and B. Connect it with the branch node to get the true or false option. Type set velocity. In here you can see two options. One is labeled as self. This is the object which we are going to set the velocity to. The self is nothing but the object is holding this graph. In our case is player. So self indicates player object and another one is with the two values. 0 0 first one is for x and next is for y axis to set this drag from there and select create vector 2 now the value is separated i have already created some variables for speed jump and is grounded now we have to drag the player m speed variable by clicking left mouse and drag out now we have to move the player left direction but we have the positive value that means player moves right instead of left for that we have to multiply this with minus 1. Now the output value is negative. Connect it to x axis. For right movement simply duplicate all the nodes by select and press ctrl D. Connect the first branch false to here and delete the multiply node. Now the player is moving right and left. But the player always facing right direction. To change the direction of the player depends on the key input. Create new variable is facing right and with type boolean. Make it true as default. We have to set the variable true if the user clicks D and false during A key pressed. To set it, hold the alt key and drag the variable out. It's changed to set variable option. And to rotate the player, create new update node and check if is facing right is true or not. If true, then set the scale to default value. If not, set the scale of x axis to minus 1. Now we are going to create a jumping character. For that, we need new node on keyboard input. In that, we have to select the key as what you want for the character to jump and the action is when your character has to jump there are three actions down hold and up down it triggers the flow when the character press the key hold it triggers when the character press and hold the key up it triggers when the character press and release the key select what you want now drag it to set velocity and create new vector to separate the x and y and drag the jump force variable and connect it to the y axis because y is up and down if the value is positive the player moves up if it is negative moves down okay the function is created but with two bugs let's see what is the bug and what is the effect of this bug our player move well rotates correct direction and jumping also well but what is the bug here you can see when we jump the character and try to move on the sky the player drags out instead of falling to get rid of this error we have to multiply the y velocity to the character velocity instead of zero for that we have to get the character velocity type get velocity get y and connect it to y axis
Now one bug is fixed, for another one is the player keeps jumping to the sky. To fix this we have to check the player is grounded or not. For that I created is grounded variable and to trigger this we have to find the player is collided with platform layer and also exit colliding with platform layer. Two nodes are on collision enter and on collision exit. First node trigger when the player collided with another collider and second node trigger when the player finished colliding with another collider. First we have to check the player collided with the platform layer. For that we have to get the layer node. This node gives the output in the form of number of the layer. Our layer is in 8th place. So we have to check the output is equal to 8 or not. If it is true then we have to change the is grounded to true. The same for on trigger exit. But we have to set the variable is grounded is false. Now before jumping the player we have to check whether is grounded is true then jumping is enabled if not player can't able to jump okay guys that's it in this video i think you guys learned something new if it is hit the like button and share the video with your friends consider subscribe to my channel to get immediate notification when we upload new video hit the bell icon thanks for seeing this video guys see you in another video